Do you remember the first time you went all the way? Um, uh, the first time I had sex? Yes. With a guy or a girl? Uh, first time you did a boy? I was 15. Do you remember where it was and all that? And... Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> it's pretty stupid. Um, I think I was just like, it was kind of a mistake. I think I was just like seeking validation and I, so I, I went on uh, Tinder. Back then you could make like underage Tinder accounts for some reason, but I think I lied about my age. I think I said it was like 16, but I shouldn't have been on there. <laughs> uh, and I wasn't really swiping right on anyone though because I was really nervous. So I was just kind of like scrolling through, swiping left on everyone. And then I saw this like joke profile that was um, based on like Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. So it was like a, a parody account, like it was a joke. And I thought it was funny, so I swiped right. Cause just cause like, I was like, ah, ha ha, Emperor Palpatine, that's funny, Star Wars. And I wasn't expecting to like, I don't know, but I started talking to the guy who ran the account and then I added him on Snapchat and he was actually cute. And so yeah, we kind of ended up having sex one time and he played Barry White which is like the worst music to lose your virginity to in my opinion <laughs> and he kept trying to I remember um, I didn't it wasn't very good I don't think either of us came I remember he kept trying to touch my asshole and I kept like steering his hands like I kept like slowly moving them away and then he'd start creeping towards it again <laughs> so yeah it wasn't the best but um he was very gentle, which I appreciated. Uh, he didn't even know it was my first time. I don't think I told him, but I really appreciate how like gentle he was. Prior to that, had your, you had your friends you hung out with, was there any peer pressure, like everybody's losing their virginity, so you almost had to do it to make everybody happy? No, I think it was more pressure I was putting on myself. Um, I have had some sexual trauma in my past when I was younger. Um, and I think it confused me in a lot of ways, and it confused me about sex a lot. And I think me losing my virginity so early was it my way of trying to like, I don't know, f like feel better, fill, fill some like void or like reclaim something or something, but it definitely was not like, <laughs> it just made me feel worse. I should have waited for sure. Um, not that I think you should wait till a certain time or anything. I just think for me, like personally, it wasn't, it wasn't like the right moment. And I, w I kind of do wish I had waited till I found someone who I like. I don't think you necessarily have to be in love to have sex, but for the first time. But I think I would have rather like had a connection. I would have rather like ha having sex with like someone I actually ha really had a connection with um, for that first time, but you know, you live and you learn. <laughs> you have sex the first time, do you immediately become sexually active? No, it was, um, it took me a while to get comfortable with sex. Uh, like I said, I had sexual trauma when I was younger, so the first time I had sex, sex I actually cried the whole day the next day. <laughs> like I cried so long the day after just because like, I don't know, my like sex was all just like fucked up for me in my mind like I didn't I had a lot of negative feelings around it and I just like didn't feel comfortable with it still um, and it took me a long time to to get to a more comfortable point with that um, I would I used to sorry let me put this on do not disturb um, for a, a long time I would only have sex with the lights off and like I was just really nervous about it and stuff um, but I think, like, as time went on, like I said, like, I really started to figure out that I, I was hot when I had sex and, like, I didn't need to be so self-conscious and that, like, sex could be fun. And so I started to, like, enjoy sex more and I started to, like, put on more of a performance during it and it made it more fun, too. And, yeah. Prior to going all the way, had you done hand jobs, low jobs? Yeah, um... I wasn't like super, I was never like super like sexual in like, like in like high school, like I didn't, I wasn't, I just wasn't super like 
attractive, I guess, so I didn't really have the opportunity to do many sexual things. Uh, I remember like the first blowjob I gave, or I don't know if it was the first one. This is actually a really funny story. Um, there's this guy I liked for a long time, and I thought he liked me too, but he was kind of being like confusing and he told me he did like me, but he just like wasn't sure if like, oh, so I asked him out. I was like, do you want to go out with me? And he was like, I don't know if I can give you an answer to that right now. And I was like, well, I need an answer now. And he was like, okay, well, I guess no. So we, we kind of just ended up being friends for a while. And then this one night we went on this late night drive together and I was, and we, I, I went out to smoke a cigarette and I came back in and he didn't like to smell of cigarettes so we had the windows rolled down and it was getting cold so we were like cuddling and like things started escalating and it ended up like with me sucking his dick but he wasn't really getting hard and I was like oh no I'm awful at this. I was like this is awful like I'm doing a terrible job and he stops me and he goes I think I'm gayer than I originally thought and I was like oh no. <laughs> Um, so he drove me home, <laughs> and uh, we just were friends for a while after that. It was, it was pretty funny afterwards, but it was like mortifying in the moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, I will say though, um, although I have always like, uh, for a long time, I've been pretty confident about my like, like how I, like how I am during sex. Like I feel like before porn, I still. I still was like pretty confident about my sex skills, but I'm, you know, civilian wise, maybe not porn level, but when I got into the industry, I was really self-conscious about my blowjob skills and my handjob skills. Cause I don't know, like I, I was just, I don't know. I was just self-conscious about them. I was like, I don't know if I'm really that good at it. And I think I definitely wasn't like, I mean, I was okay at it, but I've since improved a lot and it's like really cool to see. I don't know, cause like, uh, like I just, I just shot for Swallowed recently, and you know when I first got in the, into the industry, I never would have thought that I would be getting bookings for like just blowjob scenes, cause I was like, there's no way my blowjobs are that good, but now they are, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So for you, what's the secret to a good blowjob? Well, it depends on the person. Um, you know, I'm really good at. I guess when I say I'm good at blowjobs, I mean I'm good at porn blowjobs. Um, but also, like, because, you know, porn blowjobs are always, like, really, like, sloppy and, like, like, I'm really good at, like, getting sloppy and, like, really going fucking ham on that dick. But, like, you know, some people like it gentler. Some people, um, there's this, I, you're not really supposed to hook up with civilians, but I did, uh, I gave a blowjob to this guy I'm friends with um, a while ago, and he was like, "You can you can be gentler." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like I've just been doing porn blowjobs for the past like <laughs> however many months." Like, I'm, but um, yeah, but I think that experience is good though because it really reminded me that like porn isn't porn sex isn't really real sex necessarily. Um, so yeah, it, it depends. It really depends on how the person but one thing I found that most guys always like is when I use my tongue while I'm so I'll like I'll like stick out my tongue on the dick and I'll like move it against the dick while I'm like moving up and down on it I don't know if that makes sense but guys always seem to really like that um yeah you mentioned slopping stuff for porn but do you like doing that or is it just part of your job um I don't know if I ever got like gave really sloppy blowjobs before porn, but I do like it now. Like I was never really much into like spit before porn, but now like I don't know, I love getting all drooly and gross and like just like being covered in saliva. Like I think it's hot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's maybe I'm just like I because I've done it so much I'm like becoming conditioned into liking it, but I don't know. I think it's really hot now, so <laughs> Have you ever used your oral abilities or sexual abilities to get something you wanted? Um, uh, money and porn. <laughs> I mean, uh, isn't that kind of what my job is? <laughs> like, I don't know. If you mean like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Not really. Just I do a good job in a scene and I get paid. <laughs> Did you masturbate before going all the way or BJ's? Oh yeah, I've 
I've been masturbating for a long time. <laughs> when you started masturbating, did you know what it was? Or did you just feel good when you touched yourself somewhere? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, I don't remember when I started masturbating because I have... Because I started pretty early, probably because of sexual trauma when I was younger. And then also because of sexual trauma when I was younger, I can't really remember a lot of my childhood. But I definitely started masturbating pretty early on. And... No, I definitely, I was pretty confused about it because I remember like there was a point in middle school where I thought I was masturbating wrong because oh, I'm trying to remember. It was like, oh, I would like, um, I, I didn't understand what orgasms were and so I was like looking up like why does like, like I, I, I touch my clit and like my body starts like shaking and I feel all weird like what is that <laughs> then I found out it was an orgasm I was like oh that's what I've been doing <laughs> so yeah I didn't really know what I was doing for a while but um yeah I've been masturbating a long time I think this one time oh my gosh <laughs> this is embarrassing this one time okay so I, I used to live in Colorado um this one time when I was younger I tried to use an icicle to masturbate it didn't work out the second I touched it to myself. I was like, nope, <laughs> that's too cold. <laughs> you mentioned you were into girls. Were you into girls before the business or? Oh, I love girls. I've known I was, I've known I was into girls for a long time. Um, luckily, my mom was always very accepting. And so my mom raised me. Um, my dad wasn't really in the picture much, but my mom was like super like, she made it very clear that she would accept me no matter what. Um, so, you know, it never felt, like, weird to me to like girls. I was just like, like, I was like, oh, okay, I like girls. <laughs> well, actually, no, at first I didn't know. I remember when I was little, uh, I would have fantasies about girls where I was, like, a guy in my head because I didn't know that girls could like girls. So I would, like, have fantasies where, like, I was the guy and, like, I was making out with girls and then... I started to realize, I was like, oh, that means I like girls and I don't have to be a guy in my fantasies. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've always loved girls. I love girls so much. <laughs> you have a look for girls? Everybody's got a look. Huh? Uh, like a uh, type? type yeah. um, I, I love all girls. I love, uh, I love tall girls. I love short girls. I love big titty girls. I love small titty girls. I love gingers. I love brunettes, I love blondes, I love girls with colorful hair, I love girls with tattoos, girls with piercings. Uh, I love all girls. <laughs> Different for you when it's with a girl or are you just as aggressive as when you're with a guy? Does that make sense? Um, well, so I, I honestly haven't had as much recreational sex with girls as, as I have with guys. Um, I honestly haven't had that much luck with girls in my personal life. Uh, I've only like dated one girl, and I've I've had sex with a few girls, but I think it was just that one girl who I was really like. She was the best sex I've ever had, though. Like, she, we were just so connected on like a personal level, and like. So like every time we talked and like had conversations about our feelings, it was amazing. And then like we would have sex and it was like off the fucking charts and like it was the most amazing sex I've ever had. And then I messed it up and now she has a kid with a, a guy. So, you know, <laughs> life, man, it's crazy. <laughs> it's very popular when you're doing anal. <laughs> you weren't doing it before porn, correct? Yeah, I had never done it in my personal life or anything. Um, but yeah, I take it really naturally, uh, so lots of people want to book me for anal, which is kind of annoying now. <laughs> but yeah, I take it like a fucking champ. The first time, I was really impressed by like how little it hurt, <laughs> honestly. So yeah. And you do rim chops? Yeah. Like it? I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm still not like huge about like. I mean, I don't really enjoy eating ass or having my ass eaten, but I'll do it for the scene or for content. Or even just, like, I guess if I was, like, having sex with a, someone and my partner, like, wanted to because they found it hot, I mean, sure, I'd let them. But, or, like, I'd maybe I'd eat their ass for them. But, like, well, so I like being dominated into eating ass. Like, I don't really like eating ass, but, like, if my partner's, like, 
like a dom about it and they're like you're gonna get my fucking ass bitch like that's hot to me so um yeah i'm i'm, I'm, I'm not never really been like a one for asses and they're they're fine they're just i don't know <laughs> What about a butt worship or spanking or gaping and spreading and all that? Yeah, I I love spanking. Um, gaping, I don't really get it, but I, I've done it a lot in, in scenes. Uh, I, if people are into that, <laughs> it's whatever. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think it's kind of weird. <laughs> Ass to mouth? Yeah, I've done, I've done ass to mouth. I think... It's weird to me in concept, but I just n don't think about it when I'm doing scenes. I'm like, whatever. It's just a dick. Who cares if it's just been in my ass? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, it doesn't really matter. There are some things I'll do for scenes that I even if I don't like love them, because it's not like I hate them. It's just like, whatever. When it comes to sex, you sub the dumb. Um, I'm usually a sub. I think since I've gotten into this industry, though, it's made me want to explore my dom side more. Cause I, I don't know if I can dom guys, but I definitely like girls. I can definitely like like I've done some threesomes or like other scenes, and sometimes when we're doing stuff like that, like I like to like, you know, like I'll start choking the girl, like you like that, and like I I uh, I really want to explore that side of myself. I'm just like nervous too, cause I'm like. I've always just considered myself a sub, so it's like, I don't know, I'm like, can I even do it? Like, will I do a good job? I don't want to, like, disappoint them. But I really want to try that. I really want to try doming a girl. Um, but I usually am, like, pretty sub for most people. Like, usually most people are the dom and I'm the sub. But I want to explore my switchy side. Have you pegged the guy yet? Oh, no, I don't, I don't know if I could ever do that. Because? I don't know, it just... When guys, I, I, like when it comes to guys, I really don't know how to dom. Like I could see myself doming a girl, and I could definitely like strap a girl. But like, I just, I'm a, I'm a sub when it comes to guys, honestly. I mean, I can be like a bratty sub, so like it'll seem like I'm trying to take charge, but it's just because I want to be like domed more. <laughs> like it's not, I don't know how to be a dom with guys at all, and I feel like pegging a guy is a very dominant thing, I think, so, I don't know. Have you, uh, do you know what a badge bunny is? A what? A badge bunny. For sake of discussion, you're driving a car and you get pulled over by a cop. Mm -hmm. Now, would you work it out with the cop for him to let you go? <laughs> um, I've definitely had fantasies about that. I don't think I'd ever actually do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm not, like... <laughs> I'm not very like a like a crazy. I'm not very like crazy like like with my sexual um, adventures outside of porn. Like I don't do that many like crazy sexual things. Except like I've had like sex in a sauna. That was kind of cool, risky. There are people like in the other room. Um, so public things are kind of odd. But like I don't I don't know about like that. Like I don't think I would ever like try to get off of a ticket by fucking a cop. But I've definitely had like fantasies about that. I did this one scene where it was like two cops tag teaming me. That was pretty hot. <laughs> they were like choking me while, like one of them was like choking me while I was getting fucked by the other one. I'm like, oh yes, officer. It was, it was hot. <laughs> and do you like rough sex? Do you like being tied up having sex? Do you... Yeah, I'm a total like, I'm a sub. I like I like all the dominant things. I like being choked. I like being tied up. I like being I like being slapped. I like being degraded. I like being praised. I like all of it, any of it. Just yeah, super sub. <laughs> Do you know what a frape scene is? A what? Frape. Stands for fantasy rape. Oh, like CNC. I guess okay. Have you ever done any of those type of scenes? Um. No, I would be down though. I I have a bit of a CNC kink. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be cool. I'd be down for that. Do you have a bucket list of places you want to have sex? Places? Yeah. I've never thought about that. Um, <laughs> no, but maybe I should make one. <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. You've had sex in public before? You haven't? Yeah, I had sex in a sauna. 
that was like right like there was like the swimming pool room at, it was at a hotel so there's like the room for the swimming pool and then there's like this little sauna room me and my boyfriend were in there like having sex there were people out in the pool so if they had like tried to come into the sauna or pass the door even they would have seen us but no one did luckily um i think i had sex in a gravestone once which i felt bad about afterwards but i can't remember if we actually had sex or if he just like fingered me and stuff but i felt bad about it afterwards i was like this is someone's oh sorry i forgot this mic was there <laughs> i was like oh this is someone's grave i feel weird about this but <laughs> it was hot in the moment i don't know is there any type of scene or anything that you're saving for the end of your career where you say i'm doing a 10 guy gangbang and i'm done <laughs> um oh i guess i haven't really thought about like that but i definitely I haven't done any DP or gangbangs yet. I'm gonna work my way up to that. I'm nervous to try DP, to be honest. I don't wanna do a gangbang until I can do DP, because otherwise, you know, just be like two holes. But if I can do DP, then it's three. So, you know, I'm gonna wait to do gangbangs and DP for a while. Um, I don't know what I wanna end my career with. Uh, I definitely want to do a kink.com scene before I leave the industry, if possible. I, I love kink.com. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I, I want to do some kinky shit before I leave. I just, like, I want to work my way up. Like, I, I want to get all of the normal scenes out of the way, and then once people start offering me, like, crazy scenes, I'll be like, hmm, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is there anything you've done in porn that you surprised you pushed yourself that far sexually? Uh, yeah, um, my dick trainers video. <laughs> it's, um, if you're not familiar with what dick trainers is, it's kind of rough and they pay you extra if you throw up in it. So, <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty, it was a pretty wild scene. I've never, I've never thrown up during a scene before. Uh, and I threw up a lot in that video, which was pretty gross, honestly. I didn't like being covered in throw up, but parts of the scene were hot. Uh, he held a gun up to my head at the beginning of it. It wasn't loaded, but it was like a real gun. It was pretty hot. I liked that. Um, yeah, it was a pretty intense scene. Uh, that's the one scene that, like, well, I don't regret it. Like, I, I'm... I, it was a cool experience. I'm, I'm glad I did it, and it was good money, and I like how cute I looked in the scene. Um, but, you know, when I think about my family, like, because I know that some of my family members have seen my porn, and I know that, like, just because, you know, it's inevitable, like, I know a lot of them will end up seeing it at some point or another, and I just, like, really hope that's not the video that they s stumble upon. <laughs> Because, like, out of all the things, like, I'd rather them not see me puking everywhere on myself and... <laughs> yeah. But when that scene is pitched to you by your agent, do they tell you, do you know what Dick Trainers is before that? Or... Yeah, um... I'm trying to remember. It was kind of early on, so I'm, uh... I think I'd, I... Yeah, my agent told me about it, and then I talked to other girls who did it. Because I was, I was kind of nervous. I was like, I don't know if I want to throw up. But, um, you know, you get paid extra for it. And I was like, okay. And so I just, like, drink. They they just have you, like, drink, like, clear liquids and, like, not, not like, eat too much, anything too right. chunky or anything. You're like, um, and it honestly wasn't that bad. Like, it was, it was kind of, kind of hard to get through, but I did it. <laughs> Have you done golden showers and done all that? Um, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I haven't done any like scenes involving like any of that stuff. Um, I've never really before the industry. I never would have like imagined even like experimenting with any of that stuff. But I will say that there have been a. A couple times, I don't know, just being around like, the, being around the the porn stars and like, everyone's so open and everyone has these like kinks and so like, everyone's so open about them and like, it makes me want to explore different things, you know? So for a while I was hanging out with this group of people and I was hanging out with this one girl who's really into uh, golden showers, water sports, that type of stuff. And I don't know, it made me curious. So. 
there were a couple points where I experimented with <laughs> some of that off camera just a little. Um, but it was an interesting experience, but I found that it definitely is not for me. <laughs> so.